Hello everybody, welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Star Maid. Okay, it's been a while, I haven't done anything because I want to share this momentous occasion with all of you. So if you look in here, as we can tell, our ship is kind of complete. We have this area here, which is our cargo area, which goes up into our main of the ship here which is now here it's nice and covered here we have a ship that's docked in on top which kind of has extra storage it's kind of like an escape capsule so we can think of it that way then we have here which goes up into here this is kind of like our observation deck for out here and on top here we do have a hatch to get out so that's awesome and I think we're perfectly safe inside. Yes, we are. We have to make some fancy shapes on the inside here, but that's fine and dandy. So yeah, so how have all of you been doing? I've been doing great. The time has come to test out this thing and to see how well it works. So we're going to hop into our ship core here. We're going to take a quick peek from the outside so we can kind of see what our ship looks like. We still have to add some details onto it. We still have to put kind of like the plates that I want to put on it on the surface of it and all that fun stuff so yeah so I kind of like how it all looks now it's time to add in the red color and all of that stuff but that will come next right so with this in mind here let's see here what is our shields at I'm kind of looking at the little box on the top left here so it looks like we have our power generation at almost 500,000 E a second uh, let's see, thrust, power, consumption, so what, 300? Looks like power a second, so it looks like we generate more than what we need for that, which is good. And the max speed looks good. The total rotational potential, see that is kind of low, and that worries me. So I think we need to add in some more thrusters. So let's make sure we have our cargo selected. Let's kind of fly into here so this is where I've been doing it I've been adding it into here I've also been adding more kind of power cells in here and I think we need to add another one so let's do that right away here let's lighten up everything and so yeah so this is what I've been doing so I'm going to place another power cell array here, I think just like so I think so and we're going to try and make it fit in here somewhere. Not sure how exactly, but we will. Because we need to make sure we have the most amount of power that we can generate on this ship. Because that's just the way it is. right? We need to make sure that we maximize our space here for power and for, of course, storage cells. Then we need to add some more. Let's see, what does it say for shields? 2,000 whatever seconds, so 45,000. I don't know if that's a lot or not. So we're going to have to see 2673 power consumption. I imagine we don't have very many shields, so we're going to have to add more. And I think, how are we going to add more? I think we're just going to do it like so. Do I just make it go down like this? And then do I make it go upwards? around here somewhere. So if I go like this, like this, like this, and then upwards. Let's see here. Oh man, it's gonna be like a little snake. You're working away way up to maximize the space. And I think we gotta go one, we gotta go two. I think we can carry on upwards. Man. Yeah, and so this is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to carry on putting more systems, more power, more energy, and yeah, and I'll be right back after all of that. Okay, so here's the little update of what is happening. So I've been putting in a bunch of these modules, put in a bunch of capacitors, and before that I put in a bunch of these guys, these rechargers so that way now if you look on to our left let's make this text a little bit larger let's make this box bigger so now if you see you notice that our shields are now at 227,000 
and we recharge at 8,000 a second. So I'm going to have to increase that still. So, but these are the capacitors, and all I've been doing is I've been placing a bunch of these, like so, just using the advanced, ooh, the advanced builder, and of course the symmetry plane, which we need to set right now. I think that's the middle of the ship. Yeah, I added some of these, these you jump inhibitors, because of course we want that. Plus, I like the look of it, I like how it it flows and stuff with the red and the blue above it's it's pretty damn cool i think and yeah and so i've been kind of slowly filling up this bottom area with thrusters then as i go up with the thrusters i've been filling up with these kind of shield thingies and i think on the outside of the ship here we're going to put kind of all the storage cells we might be able to add some more of these i'm not too sure so that's kind of what i've been doing we do have these whole sections back here. I might just fill up with more of these kind of cells, which we'll have to probably buy a lot more of. <laughs> and yeah, so the ship is really coming together. The next step would be, of course, to to combat test this thing. And, and yeah, so I'm going to carry on with kind of placing my systems, and I'll be back with an update. Okay, so here's a little bit more of an update. So I now have this at, was it 288,000 for shields, looks like, and 12,221 recharge per second. I think that's how I read that. And you now, if you look, our max speed is reduced. I usually like to keep it at 350, but unfortunately it's dropping down due to the mass increasing with us placing these modules. Next step... Um, I crash out of the server, of course, because it's just the way it is when I record with StarMade. So let's see. So now, over here, we have this kind of big mess. And what I wanted to do is just fill this up with power cells. Power, power, power cells. Or like these kind of like capacitors. And I think I just want to just line this area up with them. Maybe the inside of this and I'm not using the symmetry planks I think the other side of this is just as brutal so let's actually maybe do this a little bit we'll kind of use the space up here in such a way maybe I'll do it where it fills five one two three four five I think because um, yeah, because then we can kind of fill in any gaps, I think. I think that will work, all right? And do we have any free spaces here? No, I don't think we do. No, don't think we do there either, so we can do that. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. We'll just try and fill this area up with some, some rechargers. Because you know we need some. Okay, cool. Okay, just kind of trying to see how this is all going to work out. <laughs> okay, and we got something up here we can do like that. We can do like this. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of moving around like this. This is just how I do it. Might not be correct, but in this, the way I do things, it is. <laughs> okay, so we have a gap up here. I usually just do this so I can try and fill in any spaces behind. And then there's a gap there. So let's do that. And let's do that. Nice. Because I want to fill up the inside of this completely. I don't want any gaps anywhere. These kind of gaps are okay. But just where the weapon systems are. Because... We need just a lot of storage. Like, I'm not sure if I can get enough power storage to launch all these missiles. And if so, then we're going to have to kind of readjust and kind of tackle this problem a little bit differently. But I think we should be able to get enough because I think we have enough kind of recharging for our shields and all that fun stuff. So now it's just a matter of getting enough power capacity so that way then when we fire we don't go under complete um, <laughs> you know like we don't stop functioning basically you know like power failure and you know, this is where it goes out a bit it doesn't count in the, the power cell okay and I think everything does get to normal at this point 
I think. Yeah, see, somewhat normal down here. So we should be able to fill it in. Oh, I think that's all filled in. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we should be able to fill it in like this. No, we can't go inside. Perfect. So yeah, so I'm going to carry on with this, and I will meet you on the other side of this. Wow, this is a crazy looking asteroid. It kind of has the the one surface on the outside of it, and then it has a different surface on the inside. Pretty pretty cool, pretty cool, I think. So I'm just kind of chipping away at the resources here. I think you have to kind of you breach this exterior layer here. It's pretty cool, actually. Quite impressed at you know the changes that they've done with the asteroids they look a lot more natural a lot more you know, more realistic which is awesome i love that and so yeah so let's see so where are we at in the grand scheme of things here now right here now what happens if we fly closer towards the star what happens if we fly towards that direction yeah let's do that so as we know the direction we're going to fly in and, and we'll see what happens we don't want to hit the star of course but so there's a station derelict and yes connection problems of course of course okay so we're gonna head off in this direction maybe we'll find some more rocks I don't know maybe not maybe we'll take a swing by the the derelict station here Okay, we are approaching the derelict station very rapidly. Let's take a quick peek at it here just to see what it looks like. Slow down a bit. Go up a bit. There's actually rock here, which is awesome. Whoa, slow down, slow down. Let's see here. This is a cool looking station. Wow. Oh, look at that. It looks like a big castle. When you go up like this. And then you're like this. Yeah, it looks like a big, big cathedral type of station. That's kind of funny, actually. Huh. What a cool design, though. There's kind of rocks here in the area. Let's... Let's do that. Let's... And I think these we can also destroy. See? <laughs> oh boy. So let's grab some materials here. That's pretty cool, hey? So there's like resources here that we can kind of pick up. Over here. Yeah. Oh, there's still more materials. And this is all we do. We just fly around, explore, and... You pick up materials because we need it. This is what we use for crafting. This is what we use for other aspects of the of the builds that we do. Now, an another thing is I need to fire my missiles to see if we have enough power. So I'm just gonna just aim at this thing. Oh, I hate this, but that's okay. Uh, we'll see what happens, and then we're going to. Do we not endure power failure? Wow. Okay. So maybe, maybe we're able to. Nice. Okay. I think we're able to have our stuff now, which is awesome. So there's rock over here. Oh, this is what we need. Yes. I think this is the kind of rock we need. Yeah, all this stuff here. So I'm going to harvest up this entire rock. I think this is exactly what I need. I think this is. I think this is exactly what I thought. So if I go into here. Tect. Yes, that's what we need. We need tect. Okay, perfect. Let's get back into our ship here. And I'm going to harvest this all up. And I'll be back once I am done with this. Okay, so we got rid of that one rock. Let's make sure we get rid of this other rock that we have lying right here because we should make sure that we've harvested all of these materials let's take a quick peek in our inventory 
just to make sure that we have enough room. Uh, 941. Oh, yeah, we got plenty of room. So we got lots of tech now, which is awesome. Kind of glad because we need that. Turn this bad boy back around. Okay, so I'm going to carry on with doing this thing. And we're going to do the same what we did with the other rock with this. And so I'll be back once that's done. Okay, so here we are. We have that all figured out. Let's give this a good farewell. We salvage overheating ships. Oh, you think there's like turrets in here? What exactly is that? You think these are like little turrets? Interesting. I wonder if they move out or turn. I bet you if you take over these things, you're able to do that. Okay, so let's turn around. Let's go into our navigation here. Any other close rocks? Knock, mass it. Let's take a quick peek into our inventory. So I'm just going to go Z in here. I'm going to go here. Jisper Matisse. I think that's with the tact, I think. Yeah, okay. So, do we see any other kind of tech stuff? Um, Bastion of Bertikin. No, that's, I think, purple. Nox, Masset. We don't have this one, so let's actually target this one. That's 18 kilometers away. In what direction? In this direction. Where is the sun? Okay, that's fine. Let's go into that direction. Yeah, let's just go into that direction. Sector 40, 39, 12 looks like a good one as well. So I will meet you over there. Okay, here we are. We're coming. We're approaching fast. It looks like there is a shop here as well, which is pretty cool. Because I don't think... Yeah, I don't think I saw... No, no, maybe... Wait, maybe that is the shop that I know about. Maybe it's not as unique as I thought it was. Yeah, it looks like this looks like the green rock. Hmm, I don't want that rock. There is some rocks over here though that I saw. 39, so 40, 39, 12, something like that. What's that? That's the derelict. Let's see here. Hmm, if I go in, maybe that's the one we want to go to, which I think will be that green one. Well, let's pick up some Nox, because I think we need those crystals anyways for other stuff. Yeah, okay, cool. So yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to carry on exploring, and we are going to make it back to our base eventually, and all I'm going to do is this kind of stuff. So thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. You know, hopefully it's not too boring. I was hoping we'd be able to test our our weapon systems out. But let's fire them again on this unsuspecting rock. Okay, and so if we dumb fire them like this, bang, looks like it doesn't use up our energy, all of it. Awesome. And look at that the devastation that it creates amazing okay i can't wait to try them on a live target that'll be the next thing so the next thing is power because obviously power consumption is 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 feeling you know like we're using it all in one shot so we need to have more power so i might fill in these gaps here with more kind of power cells which that's probably what's going to end up happening is I'll just be filling these up with more power. Probably over here as well. The shield recharging, I'm not too sure. I might add some more rechargers for that. But yeah, but in the meantime, I'll do that off camera. And so all of you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye bye.